Corporea. Corporea will help us get going with setting up our um, system. Yeah, well, you got really into the Avartia stuff, Demethan. Did you notice they upgraded wow. it to 17 now or 112? So you could do the Avartia stuff again. <laughs> you are really going on the automation of that stuff. This is useless to me. <laughs> I kind of figured you'd say that. <laughs> no idea. Oh! There's a hole there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there wasn't always a hole there. <laughs> Just I've been doing my digging for Yeah, I just need access to this. Nether seeds. Uh over here. Alright, so this should start emptying. I wonder if we have two hundred of anything that I'm trying to save up for. Like obsidian? I have sixty-two. Sheep. 62. We've got a long while to go. I need 200. The nether essence we're getting there on. And Glowstone's got 100. So those are the ones I'm trying to complete quests for. That's still going. Okay. Are you really bothered, Pedja, by my low FPS? Is anyone else noticing any problems with it, or is it just really driving you nuts, Pedja, that you can see the FPS bot written down in my lower left? Because <laughs> it doesn't bother me. It's doing pretty good. <laughs> Doesn't really help, Yasmin, if you ask for a shout out and you don't have a um <laughs> Woohoo, Yasmin's got a shout out. Everybody say hi to Yasmin in chat. I don't know. I think I did. Let's try it again. Oh, there we go. So yeah, redeemed points. Ooh, you're gonna stream later. What are you gonna stream? Does this have a spot? Nope. Let's make a spot for it. That works. And we'll put some oak leaves here. Sure. Ah! Sniper Elite. Gotcha. There we go. Okay, so... Um, let's do the corporea stuff. The requirement for the quest is just to make a master corporea spark and a corporea spark. And those... Oh, here's the... Well, that's the master. Here's the regular one. That's why we needed pixie dust, ender air, and a spark. I have a spare spark already crafted, but they're really cheap to make. I, They're not a problem at all. 
So we have a one in here, and then we also need um, one of those and one of those. And this will give us a corporea spark. Like that. So there's one of those. We're going to need a lot of these. Not a ton ton right away, but we're going to need more than the one. But I'm just doing this to do the quest at the moment. And then to make it a master, we need a dragonstone. You only need one master for your network. So we do that. We get a master. And we can put a master on anything that is that has an inventory. Um, I often use either droppers because they're cheap, um, whatever I get gifted, and I think I have a dropper here. So what we're going to do, um, let's park it over here and just put it there, put the corporeal spark on top. So now we have created a network. You see the little white star here? I can color it and make it a completely different network. So whatever color this star is, is the network that it'll be bound to. So if this was pink, it'd be the pink network. And then everything, all of the corporeal network that has the pink would be connected and ones that don't have pink would not be connected to it. So that's how you start with Batania's corporea. You can also hit this with a, um, phantom ink and this will make this more transparent so you can barely see it. I don't mind seeing the little sparkly doodads so that's fine with me. Now in order to do anything with the corporea network you need two more things. You need the index and you need a few more of these sparks. So the index requires another corporea spark and some dragonstone. We might need to drop some more diamonds into the alpine portal for that. So we also need to craft some more sparks. So let's get that going. I should have... I, I know I have more of this stuff. What do I have for petals? Let's use you. That'll give us three. And then... Um, use your air dust. We're gonna need those. Mead. You have mead, huh? Um, and then we need gold. So, a regular spark is with, okay, with and there we go three of these and we need to make this we need I need more ender air we need four of those so let's do that grab some more ender air Okay, so we need an index, which needs a spark. Okay, one index. This is how we talk to the network, is with an index. So what I can do here, if you guys have never seen a corporeal index in action, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it... Um, put it right in the middle here. You need to put a spark on top of it. And it needs to be matched up to the network it's paired with. Okay, it's paired with that network. And then what I'm going to do is walk one on top of my drawer controller, which can talk to all these drawers. Now you can talk to the network. And the way you do that is you stand within the circle. You can see the little circle that is generated. And you use chat. So if I say, um, I'd like 
Got a 12 soul sand. It has now given me 12 soul sand. Tells me I have 120 total and it took 12. Didn't have to go over here and look for it. Just had to stand here and be like, I need one piston. There's no pistons. Darn. So <laughs> I need I need two nether wart. There we go. It gave me two nether wart. So that is the way that starts working. This is a very simple, very basic applied energistic storage system. Think about it that way. Got all your chests. You don't have to run around and look at them. You just have to request things. Now there are interceptors, funnels. I don't know what the retainer is. I'll have to look that one up. And cubes. What these do, or what you can do with them, is like, say for example, I requested that piston. It said we didn't have any. This interceptor intercepts my request, goes, there aren't any of the system. We need to make one. So then it sends a red sun signal and you can auto craft in within Batania or any other way. If a redstone signal is fired, then it activates that crafting process. Granted, you have to set up that crafting process, but then it would craft it and you could put it back into the system into the with your corporea stuff and then it would give it to you. So it knew you wanted it, it would craft it and it would give it to you. So that is what an interceptor does. It intercepts requests in case something doesn't exist in your storage. Funnels are how you put things. Um, they work like hoppers, but they pull things out of your corporea network. So say, for example, I requested that piston with the interceptor and I had a crafty crate with Batania set up for pistons. The funnel you could have dropping, it's a hopper, the items pulled from your network. So the cobblestone, the stone, the plank, the wooden planks, the redstone, the iron, it would pull all that stuff out of your network, drop it through its funnel into the crafty crate, craft the piston, you have a hopper hawk, pick it right back up and stick it into your corporeal network and then you would be given it. So that's how that would work. The crystal cubes are a lot like remote representations of what you have in your inventory or in your storage network. So say for example you're off somewhere in your base and in that area you need to know how much stone you have in your network at all times. What you can do is you can configure this for stone. It'll tell you how many you have. I have 6,523 or whatever. And you can also right click on it to get to take it out of your network. Um, I think right click is one at a time and shift right click is a stack at a time. So you can pull things out of the crystal cubes from your corporea network. Did I overwhelm anyone yet? That is how I'm going to be using storage until we can get into AE2. You can put these in multiple places. Um, the next challenge you have, these sparks um, only reach 12 blocks. If I click on this, you can see it's connected. You see the lines? These are connected. They only reach 12 blocks. So you need to set up these sort of things every 12 blocks. You don't need the master spark. You need one of these standard sparks. But you need some kind of an inventory, which is why I use cheap droppers. And they work like wires. So you place them every 12 blocks, you stick a spark on it, and it expands your network. So if I want to put a corporea index over there, which I will, I will need to put these the sparks on top of inventories of some sort leading down that way until... I'm close enough that I want to put my map, my index again. So that is how you access your things from far away is that every 12 blocks you need to have an inventory with a regular spark on it with the right color. So there you go. 
I hope that has helped you understand some basic, and this is basic, corporeous stuff. Because in versions above 1, 1, 7, 10, there's even more corporeous stuff you can do. So, I don't even know all of it. Um, but there's this stuff. This is awesome. I think I've completely overwhelmed you guys. You're all quiet. So now I'll be able to take what's in these chests that I have random everywhere, put them in these drawers, or if I don't want to do that, I just need to put a spark, corporeal spark, on top of all of these chests. <laughs> so yeah, just go spark, 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 and then it'll all be connected. So that that's how that works and I'm really happy to finally have it can you tell all right oh good we get two more sparks um star color let's see what we need to do to craft that it's probably gonna require thong craft nope it's gonna require a terra blade though and I don't know if we have this much terra steel Let's go find out. Um, there we go. Ooh, ooh, we have this and this. We need one of those. Dragonstone. And a stick. We might be able to make a star collar. Stick. Terra Blade. Which a Terra Blade is awesome if you guys don't know what a Terra Blade is. It is also a ranged weapon. Every once in a while it shoots off mana. So you can hit things with it. Um, but a star collar is even cooler. Alright. Star collar. Um, if I... I believe it is right click. Nope, that's still just block. Shift? Hmm, I'm trying to remember. I might need to look it up. Let's look it up. Um, my... Tanya. Mm. Star color is a blade with the power to call upon the wrath of the stars. When swung, there's a chance for the blade to summon a falling star. There we go. Heading towards where the wielder is looking. The star will deal damage upon impact with any entities. Creating this sword proves to be no easy task, which we've already made it, so that's good. All right, so let's see it. There we go. Oh, you can see it raining down. Falling stars! Star color is awesome. Star color is awesome. Um, It has 7 attack damage versus my 11 for this one, so we're going to hang on to this one for now. But we'll have it as a backup. Let's open this basic bag. Wow. Urgh. These are garbage. And they're not useful at all. I wonder if any of these things have research points. Hmm. Very nice. Um I think that's it. Uh the rod of the terra firma. Which I just don't know where it went now. Uh, where did it go? Cat. Um. <laughs> uh, 
There it is. What the heck? That was weird. Okay. Control. There we go. A rod of the terra firma, while digging away at dirt with a shovel, is definitely functional. Flattening huge tracts of land can get somewhat torturous at times. By utilizing the rod of terra firma, it's possible to terraform a quick, in a quick and environmental friendly manner. Um, if you were watching the previous uh, creative part of my playthrough uh, this morning, I accidentally used this instead of something else. Um, nope, don't need you. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, though. Um, I don't want to use it here. Let's go... Um, let's go off this way a little bit, and I'll show you what it does. I have a tiny bit of mana that I can use it with. But take, for example, I would like to get rid of this little hill. If I hold hold it down... I'm out of mana already, but you can see it will just shave shave it down to the level that you're standing at. So, yeah, that's the way that works. I need to refill my mana reserves. Uh, so I'll put you in there. Let's get my. My ring, I think this one is configured. Nope, let's turn it. All right. It uses a lot of mana, by the way, to do that, which is why I ran out so quickly. There we go. Um, did that? Did we do the star color quest? We didn't. I've been skipping reward bags. I've been very unhappy with the reward bags. <laughs> Skip them whenever I can. We'll get research points instead, because those are currently always helpful. Alright. We got... Thalmium Sword. Ooh, why do we have three of them? Interesting. Oh, we were given three. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna need three. But whatever. I know I'm gonna need one Um, to make... Oh, what's it called? the blade in Thalmcraft. That, the Sword of the Zephyr. I just don't know why I need three. So, in they go. We're gonna chuck those smoking blocks in there too. Alright. How many blood magic swords are there? So I've already got a bound sword. I just don't have consistent LP. That was something I forgot to do, is to put an orb in the um, altar. Should do that. Um, advanced dirt rod. Pixie dust, rune of air. So I would need to make another one of those. Let's see what else there is to do. Um, how far along are we, Britannia? 86. That's pretty awesome. I think I have the runes to make this. I don't want to get rid of the one that I already have, which is why I keep making another uh, rod of the lands because I've been using this rod and I'm you know I like the rods <laughs> um, oh, da, 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 da. I put all the wood back and I probably need more 
Pixie dust and air and earth for the other one. I need dirt. Okay. La, la, la. Dirt. One dirt. The other things we can do here is go how many sand? Let's see. Count sand. 1590. Um, count. What was it? Oh, wood. 166. So that's where that works. There we go, Rod of the Highlands. And the way the Rod of the Highlands work is you know how you need an angel block to place in midair? Not so with the Rod of the Highlands. So that's the bonus of that one, is that you can place dirt in midair. Alright. And we got some dirt. Good reward bag. Wow! Pokefinium tool rod. Yeah. Great. See all this dirt? <laughs> Got lots of dirt. I can put the rest of it in here. All right, what does that do? That gets us to 87%. Did it unlock anything new? Do we have anything that's un that unlocks more? No. None of the open ones unlock more here. These, are there any that unlock more? Ooh, this does. These I'd like to get started on. That one does as well. Okay. Let's do some Thomcraft. Um, let's do that one that unlocks two. Needing to do all these in, um, infusions to make these tools. And these are going to be pretty darn cool, I think. I believe I've unlocked the research for them. I hope so. I did. Okay. All the research is unlocked. So we do just need to make... Just need to craft them all. So let's get a diamond. One diamond. And then... We need great wood log and two fire shards. And luckily for us, this will be pretty balanced. There's that, and we need to put a... in the middle, a Thaumium pickaxe, which I had one that was given to me as a quest reward. So there's the catalyst. And then we need to make sure we have the Essentia, so let's do that step. We need 8 Ignis, 8 Perfodio, oh, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one at all, and 8 Census. So we have the Ignis and the Census, but I'm, yeah, I really don't think we have Perfodio. No. Okay. 
pickaxes. Let's see if that is the only thing. That must be from a Thomcraft add-on, because I have the main stuff here. Oh, there's Profodio pickaxes. Yep. Thankfully, we can do stone pickaxes. So, let's get what we need for that. Let's see. A stack of cobblestone. And then we need four oak wood. Alright. Oh, I fit most of it in there. That must be a different color. And do this one at a time, obviously. It has a bunch of other aspects in it. I think what I'm going to want to do... I will eventually need to make some of these void um, jars. Um, but for now, since I don't have the buffer network finished, it's got, it's got a long way to go to get that finished. Um, we'll just keep moving jars over for what we need once this is, all of these are smelted up. We'll be able to do that. We're almost there. Um, I might want to see about making some more files. No, I don't think I'm going to store them via files. Okay, so this is full, so it can't process anymore. Um, it's not complete yet. I don't have it hooked up. Just put an Essentia tube here and this bellows pushes it into the buffer network and I have these set to output on this side so it will push them out along this row here and then this bellows will push it this way and so on and so forth it'll process it through all of it and then at the end of the line which wherever that happens to be I will put an essentia crystallizer so it'll take anything that is overflow from these and crystallize it into essentia crystals, which you can then melt back down again into the required parts. So I currently don't have Perfodio, so I'm gonna need a jar. I don't have any labels right now either, but for the stuff that I don't need, like Terra, I have a ton of Terra. I've just been deleting for now. So, Machina. How am I on Machina? We could put some Machina on there. I don't need Arbor either, and there's the Perfodio. So, we should be able to process these other two picks that I have in here then. There we go. Um, wait for this to fill a bit further. So yeah, it's not hooked up yet. All I'll have to do at the end is put a buffer, a sentient buffer, right here. So, looking forward to that. Um, I have a full wand, so we might be able to do that if my voice doesn't kill me. We have 32 per photo. And... Why aren't you filling up? 
must be something stuck in here. There, there it went. All right. I need. I need a label. So let's make a label. We need black ink. We need a regular slime ball. And we need four paper. There we go. Alright. Um, we don't need the Predito. We don't need the Arbor. We don't need the Terra. Is that everything? It is. Okay, so we should have everything now, because all we were short one was eight Perfodio. So, we don't need to move these jars, in case you missed that. I have Essentia Mirrors, which I'd like to get rid of the dirt and put something else there, but for now, it's in there. And the other one is up there, so I just need my wand. Bye, Yasmin! There we go. So here comes the Essentia. I love the, um, the looks of this so much. The senses, it's all in there now. Alright, and there we go. We now have a pickaxe of the core. That is tool number one. We, I believe, for the quest have to make all of the tools. Yep. So let's do the next one. The Axe of the Stream needs two water, another diamond, and another great wood, and a Thaumium Axe. So let's go over here. And we need to get one diamond. And I have the other Thaumcraft stuff over here. Two of those, and I don't think I have an axe, so we need to make the axe. Alright. Did I use up the wood sticks? Might have left them in that crafting table that I was making pickaxes with. I did. Okay. Thaumium um, axe. All right, exactly like the wand, the pickaxe of the core. We lay these out so that they are balanced. And we'll put the axe in the middle. And then we need to see if we need to craft some Essentia. Bomb crab! Hi, Quiz! Nice to see ya! <laughs> Yay! 16 aqua and 8 arbor. I'm pretty sure I have that. 32 aqua. There we go. We have a whole bunch of arbor. So we can totally make this. Doo -doo. Next one we'll need to do is the Sword of the Zephyr. Needs air. This is pretty much a similar recipe over and over again. We just need different essentia. There we go. There's our Axe of the Stream. I will show you what each one of these does when we 
crafted. Okay, so the sword we have here. Um, great wood log. The Pickle Pack Magical 3 is all about magic integrated mods. So the main mods that are in here are Thomcraft, Blood Magic, Batania, and Magical Crops. And practically everything, and I want to say practically everything, underlined 15 times, is integrated with Thomcraft and Blood Magic and Batania. <laughs> So, we're here. Oh, we need a diamond. One diamond. There we go. And just to give you a hint, since you're new here, Quist, if you wanted to get into AE2, which is in this pack, you usually look at the inscriber recipe, right? The inscriber recipe is where you enter into Applied Energistics 2. Now, it looks meh when you just look at it. The Thaumium, yeah, no problem. The rest of this is all easy craftable. It's this bound diamond from Blood Arsenal that is the pain in the rear end. Um, a bound diamond, which this is something I've never made before, so I'll have to research, is in a binding ritual from Blood Magic. You need an active blood-infused diamond. In order to activate it, you need to put it in a tier 4 blood altar with 80,000 LP. The unactive one or inactive one is this. This requires at least a tier 4 altar because you need the tier 4 orb. It requires a blood diamond, which is just throwing a regular diamond into a blood altar and getting it's quite a bit. More blood infused iron than you could possibly imagine, which again is more iron thrown into a blood altar. But it's these things amorphic catalysts, which is blood alchemy. Blood alchemy that requires slate, aether, crepitus, incendium, crystallos, terre, sanctus, magicalis, and aquasalis. All made, these are all fancy chemistry funness. <laughs> uh huh. And I have to make four of them for the recipe. Yeah, so. <laughs> and you thought Age of Engineering was hard. No. <laughs> but I'm having a great time, so. <laughs> I'm nowhere ready for that stuff, so I barely have all of the magical crop, even half of the magical crops done. Because you have to use um, Thaumcraft Infusion to make the seeds. Um, so if we do seed, any of these, like, we'll do like quartz seeds for magical crops. Require an arcane infusion with moderate instability and all of this stuff. These are Imperio in order to make the magical crop seeds, which is really cool! but it means I have to take a long time. I agree, Tuto. Use the one with the slates that give you five instead of just doing it one to one to one. I totally agree with that. All right, and then this is the sword. So let's go see what we need as far as the sentry for that. I'll give you a fly around of my base because I'm really proud of my base here. I'll give you a fly around when we're done making the sword so you can see it. Eight air, eight motus, eight potentia. These are things we likely have. Air, potentia. Where's the motus? Oh, I think I left it over here when I was making the flesh golem. No. Okay. I can't possibly be missing a whole jar. I know I've used Motus in the past. Am I missing? Nope, there it is. There it is. There's ten. Okay, we're good. <laughs> there we go.
Hmm, a bit of stutter in the server at the moment. Alright, there we go. Sword of the Zephyr. We only need to make one more, and that would be the Hoe of Growth. But I'm gonna sleep. Yep, 1710. It is.